This is your boy, JG. AB. In the building. We get into the recap, the revisit, the Sean Porter, Errol Spence bout. We do it right now. Let's get ready to rumble! Welcome back, y'all. This is your boy, JG. AB is in the building. Uh, he's been gone for four and a half months. Literally like a week, but okay. I made that up. And uh, this video is not about AB. This video is about me. I put out a video last week. It was a solo video. It was a preview to the Sean Porter Errol Spence bout. And I said that Errol Spence would put Sean Porter into a casket. And that he would be lifeless. Or End quote. On, or on life support. I said that Kenny Porter would get up on the apron and wave the white flag. Sean Porter's dad. Um of contrition because of the amount of punishment that you know Sean Porter sustained that didn't happen none of that happened so guess what I was wrong but I was right about the outcome I'm yeah we, we all were but that's not the point the point here is that you were wrong and you were in the process of apologizing so I'm apologizing to Sean Porter and, um, and his braids and Kenny Porter and his pineapple cut and you have to remove your hat. I'm not removing my hat. I gotta. <laughs> okay, I just. I, was, I gotta. I kept shooting, guys. I tried. Um, um, I, I definitely would. Yes, uh, Sean Porter, tough as nails, took a lot of punishment, ate a lot of clean shots, um, got dropped, still took that L. Shout out to the WBC already having the Errol Spitz pin on the strap of the belt. <laughs> uh, you guys knew what you were doing. They. Uh, Everybody kind of knew the outcome, but listen, this is what happens when you ride solo, guys. This is a classic case of the man talking himself into an outcome that honestly at the time might have sounded realistic, but not really. The thing about Sean Porter, like Errol Spence I'm said himself. No, 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 no. I'm going to stop you right now because I have a question. I have a question. Were you <clears throat> going to argue the points that I made earlier? Essentially, it was this. I'm going to provide the points. Stoppage, seventh round, domination, Errol Spence. Did you have something different than what I had? Um, I do know that if you interrupt me again, you're about to get the Sean Porter dream at seventh round stoppage. Listen, yeah, you no, I'm not. I wasn't gonna. Round hook, look, <laughs> your eyes look, on the middle and shit like that. You listen. I'm not, I'm not gonna argue the outcome, right? I will argue how exaggerated you were getting. I got crazy. Making man. that outcome. But the thing is, nothing in Sean Porter's history has given you reason to believe that the stuff you were saying was going to happen. So I would say this. My defense is I wasn't looking at Sean Porter's history. I'm looking at who Errol Spence was as a champion and how he's dominated and destroyed uh, his opponents up until this point. Even the Mikey Garcia's uh, fight, was it a stoppage? No, but... He beat him. He beat the brakes off of him. 12-round... And bear, like you know, when you hit the heavy bag, oh shit! You hit the heavy bag and you being cute, you know that's what he did to my man. He, so he embarrassed. There him. was no evidence to me that suggests that it would be anything different than what we saw uh, September twenty eighth. The evidence, episode. my friend, was in Sean Porter's fight style. That style is very all over you. It doesn't let you pick apart. It just makes you keep working. It's gonna tire you out. And it, it doesn't really relieve room for you to just get knocked facts. out. You can get knocked down, but you're not going to get knocked out because you're going to lose most of your power getting this freaking wrestler off of you. Now, listen, like, get I'm, off of I'm me, being man. vulnerable right now. I'm being vulnerable right now. Would you have been saying this, I don't know, Friday, last Friday, last Thursday? Listen, we, 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 we could get into hypotheticals all day long. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's not what we're here to do. We're here to focus on the mistakes you've made. Okay. 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 And... Uh, <laughs> And well, which there are several, but okay. what I'm saying is today you've taken a big step in the okay. Sean Porter camp yeah. no, I haven't. and uh, well, in, in, in realizing yep. that Sean Porter is a very solid tomato can. You will not be able to just knock him out. You it's have not. validated everything yes. that I have said. Yes. He's a very solid tomato can. He is a solid tomato <laughs> can. You look at Sean Porter, he got like 30 fights, 31 fights. He has losses against... Danny Garcia, close fight. He has lost against Keith Thurman, close fight. He has losses against, now the most recent, Errol Spence Jr., close mm -hmm. fight. So what that tells me is this. You can beat everybody. 
you the all the bums, the Devin Alexanders, the Andre Burdos, uh, the uh, Broner, the Adrian Broners. Even though Adrian Broner dropped two in the twelve, yeah, right. Uh, you beat the Poly Malinaji. Shout out to the Magic Man. But when it comes to fighting the people who hold belts, because you have to keep in mind, when he fought for the WBC belt, he fought Danny Garcia for a vacant title that Keith Thurman dropped due to inactivity. Uh-huh. Uh, and you snuck by. Anyway, Sean Porter, this is my personal apology. You are a worthy tomato. You can take punishment with the best of them. You got to drop me in love with your eyes crossed crazy. You know, you in a ridiculous shape. Your, your hand touched the mat. <laughs> Come on, Errol! But his head was all over the yeah, place. He so keep you, fighting. That was that was a knockout. I, I mean, that was a knockdown though. That's... When you get punched and your braid come out a little bit, that's vicious. That's <laughs> listen. One thing I respect a, about him is knockdown. he knows his style and he doesn't shy away from it. Call me a wrestler. Say I can't box. Say I look like I'm swimming. Whatever. I know what I'm gonna do when I get in there, and I'm gonna keep doing it because I'm good at it. And it bothers you and it messes up your style. So I respect him for that. Um. And uh, as far as Errol Spence, we knew who he was. I think you mentioned it uh, before um, off camera. You said uh, he he went in there like the most unimpressed he's ever been. Like, oh, whatever. Fair, fair, Let me yes. just go beat this kid up and, you know, whatever. Let's just let's just get this over with. So I think that helped Sean Porter's case. Because if there is a rematch, he's going to be like, people actually thought I was close with this guy? And then get the prediction that you initially had. That's yes, what I yes, think yes, will yes, happen. Yes, 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 yes. But for this one, he did look unimpressed. Like, why am I fighting this guy? Like, ah, uh, you know? So a couple takeaways, my man AB gets into something. Hey, shout out to Sean Porter because I feel like one of the comments that he made was, I feel like confidence has morphed into arrogance on the side of Errol Spence. He did, yep, in the press um, conference. And, and I think that showed. Now, Errol Spence went out and won. And you, I look at the scorecards and I really had Errol Spence winning that 116-112 kind of. I in, thought that's what in, it was, in yeah. In that window. Yeah. Um, he landed cleaner, harder shots. He landed more shots. I know Sean Porter was busy, but... Shout out to Adelaide Bird with the 115-112 for Porter. That, she, she, she's shout, back, huh? Shout out Canelo. Shout she's out, out of prison? Shout out Mayweather. On the shout draw. you out, man. Hey, he, That's what's he, up. He stay fucking up. Um, but what I'm interested in, what happens now moving forward, what does Sean Porter do? Uh, what does Errol Spence do? Uh, they got the Danny Garcia fight announced per se for Errol Spence. Is that a, I mean, before you answer this question, are people checking for that fight? Now, no. Now, mull over that. Mull over now, that. if he fights his dad, yes. Angel. So, we're not talking about him. We don't want but Danny. What is PBC and Errol Spence supposed to do as far as scheduling the next bout? Pacquiao. Now, Pacquiao saying he might take himself off the shelf or he wants Get out of here. Crawford. Well, you Bud know. Crawford. Ladies well, and that's what we want to see. That's what everyone wants to see. Now, here's what I would say because I don't want this video to drag on. Terrence Crawford's free agency was a big deal for all of like two days. And they already knew the challenges that they would face if they re-signed with top rank, knowing Errol Spence was buzzing. And at the time, Manny Pacquiao had a belt and Terrence Crawford, no, excuse me, and Keith Thurman had a belt. So you re-sign with top rank and you know we're on the other side of the street. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. That's my question. Um, so that's why I don't even want to entertain those types of things. The that's a tough one. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's got to come up with decisions there. He, so he didn't resign with top rank? No, he did resign with oh. uh, top rank. Knowing it's going to be hard. The belts were already on the w, the, the PBC side. You already had uh, Errol Spence, who was a champion. You already had, at the time, Keith Thurman, who was a champion. Super WBA champion. And you had Manny Pacquiao, who was a regular champion. And then you had the WBO belt which is the fourth belt, the major belt in the division, was with Terrence Crawford. Those oh. dynamics were already in place when he said, oh, okay, I want to be top That's player. a scared move, and man. you already know. There's no other way to put it. That's a scared move. You Come on, man. You you could have opted out. You don't need a promoter. You're, you're the one of the biggest names in boxing. Come that on, man. That is you, facts. You're out here going to be fighting facts. Tomato Slav Kanikowski from freaking Serbia now for the for weird ass American. Belt. Come on, man! Like Mums. that's yeah. He knew what he was doing there. I, I I lose respect for Bud for that one. I didn't even know whoa, that. Whoa, honestly. whoa, 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 whoa! You don't have to be crazy about it. Okay, you don't know what you don't know. Fall. You say you lose. He see you. Well, I mean, you you, you hear ever... the threats. You 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 see what's going on in the world of boxing, and you resign with this dude that has been 
proven. Mayweather had to break loose from this guy. Yeah. He's been proven to hold fighters back. Seven hundred thousand dollar buyout. Pacquiao, the guy, who, well, my son, my son had to break loose from him. He bounced out. He went PPC. So went what do you? How many examples do you need before you're like, okay, he'll eventually do it to me too? Come on, man. I, I agree. Uh, you had free agency opportunity as a champion, as a title holder, as a known name in the 147 pound division, and you re-sign with top rank. You essentially know that's going to create challenges for you. Also knowing the other 147 pound champions, they're on the PBC side. You have Horn, who got beat, but anyway, um, you have well, just a whole stable. They have they're champions. all over there, damn it. Danny's over there. Sean's over there. Errol's over there. Uh, Pacquiao's over there. Uh, Jesse Vargas is over there. Jose Cito Lopez is over there. Keith, everybody who's Everybody's anybody's over, over there. there. So you that, that's six welterweights that are over there. Anyway, I digress crazy. I owe an apology to Sean Porter. You were the WBC champion. You lifted that. Well, you didn't lift it from anybody. You won that belt from uh, Sean Porter. Excuse me. Danny Garcia. Um, in a close bout. That I had you losing, if we're being honest. Damn it. You did? Oh, I had him winning that one. I had him rewatch it, but it, it doesn't okay. matter. The fact that we can even have that conversation about it lets you know it was a close battle. Mm. So you got the green strap, the most coveted strap. You go up, you challenge Errol Spence. I had you losing convincingly. Yeah. Um, yeah. You did your thing. You worked hard. You made Errol work. That's for damn sure. Got dropped visually in 11th with your eyes kind of came together a little bit. That's eyes come together. I can't do a good job on the video. But they, them shits came together. Um, and so now I'm interested in what's next in the, vision, the, the, the division. 147 pound. Danny Garcia versus Errol. Shit. What's crazy is this. We know that Errol is fighting Danny January, February. Let is that confirmed? You. Semi-confirmed. Okay. But we have at least an idea. That's easier, or a honestly. But let me ask you this question. Who's Terrence Crawford fighting next? Now he did not. You. He didn't fight last night or two weekends ago. Who's he fighting next? I told you, Tomato Slav Kanikowski, man. Tomato Slav Kanikowski. Some cat from what Serbia. Is that, what is that? What does that poster look like? A Campbell soup can with Bob gloves Aram. like this. Bob Aram. I mean, it's just it's. it's Put my man on, man. Stop playing. <laughs> he's Put looking on, bad right now. You looking Put bad? Put him on. Man. Put my man on. So I mean, yeah, Same we'll, we'll see. Bump on the face. scope. Of boxing is looking very nice. That uh that division, the Errol Spence division, that's what I'm calling it, is looking very nice right now. Uh boxing in general is back, man. Like it's just looking very good. I, I want to see, see these heavyweights. Right the what? You're looking very right. You're looking, very nice, you're right? Very nice. But uh the heavyweights doing. have always been looking good. Uh, uh Wilder has that uh Ortiz, Louis, uh, Ortiz coming up. Uh the heavyweights, uh Fury's gonna schedule. I think Wilder, once the Ortiz fight is over, he yep. just beat up some guy. Um, Joseph Parker, Joseph Parker, Joseph Parker's fighting. Uh, who's it? Uh, Derek Chisora. That it's, fight got canceled. Did he got? Oh, he backed out. I saw the press yeah, conference. Yeah, good, yeah. On <laughs> good on him. Good on him. That's like how him. you gotta do. It. Because he threatened them. If I'm not main event, get me out of here. Don't he said, do he not book me. Or something like that. But something. Okay. All right, but uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up and uh, keep you guys in touch with your boxing needs. This is E N E, your boy A B. JG's in the building. Exaggerate chain experience. Like, subscribe, bell icon for notification. Before we get out of town, if Errol Spence fights Danny Garcia, that fight ends in stoppage within ten rounds. You heard it here first. This is your boy. We out.